What's up YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now in this video we're going to talk about the resources you can use to study for your OB-GYN clerkship. Um, this video is going to be simple, it's going to be quick and to the point, and as always we're going to have a no BS approach of having a ton of resources that we're not going to use. So when studying for the OB-GYN shelf, um, OB-GYN at my institution is six weeks long and it's a fun time, you know, in our place, we get to be in outpatient clinic, we get to be in the operating room, we get to be in labor and delivery. So we really get to see the full spectrum of ob -GYN. And the beauty of it is you get to learn something totally cool, you know, about pregnancy and the birth process and how to deliver and the kind of surgeries we can do and how you treat people in outpatient clinic. And, you know, it's very relevant to everyone's daily life. You know, people have kids and pregnancies and you'll be asked about it a bunch just as a normal person. Um, so it's a fun thing to learn. Um, how do you study for it? I only, so if you know, just as classically, I have the same technique. Use one Q bank and use one book, and that's it. Don't you know overdo it. Um, so the only Q bank that I use for all of third year, of course, was U World. Um, you can just click the OB guide button and just do those questions. Um, hopefully, you've seen in my other videos the technique for this is you you know you don't you start the rotation just by hitting U World straight up. Don't even worry about it. You know you don't like start with the book and read everything and then test yourself with U World. No way, Jose. What are you going to do? Just, you know, day one of the rotation starts, the weekend before, crack open UWorld, click the OB guy and do a full block, you know, spend an hour getting serious, quiet, you know, cell phones off, just doing the UWorld questions, employing your, you know, test taking strategy that you, you know, you've kind of hopefully learned at this point or keep developing it by doing it. And then, you know, give yourself like two hours or so to go through the entire block, read everything carefully, learn from it. Um, you know, remember, UWorld is not just, you know, you test yourself, but more so it's your learning test taking technique and you're developing a knowledge base by reading all the answers in UWorld. Um, and don't forget that, you know, if you were to take all the text from UWorld and put in a book, it'll probably be a really big book. So, you know, feel good about yourself that you're doing questions, you're practicing test taking techniques, and you're reading a lot of high yield material that's relevant to ob -GYN. So you'll be in good shape. But also I think it's nice to have a textbook or some kind of resource. Uh, the one that I use, I don't have with me because I give it to someone else who's a lower classman now, but I just use the Kaplan PDFs and I printed them out. Um, sorry, Kaplan, I don't know. I just kind of got them from upperclassmen. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people use different resources and I put them down below in the description. You know, some people use blueprints, some people use pretests, etc. cetera, uh, case files. They're down below. Everyone has their preference. Um, throughout third year, you'll see what you like. But what I liked was I didn't, because I already had like a dedicated, you know, UWorld QBank. Um, I didn't really want to do case files because I didn't like reading those long cases. I didn't think it was very fun. Um, and pretest to me, just the questions, I just didn't think they were that great. It's my own personal opinion. But some people love it. I mean, like, for example, I use pretest and neuro, but I didn't want to use it for ob -GYN. Who knows why? But, um, you know, so I just use, uh, the, you know, UWorld QBank. And the only textbook I used, which was kind of a long one, uh, was the, so talk to your upperclassmen, be like, hey, do you guys have those Kaplan PDFs for um, step two? And they'll be like, oh yeah, and you know, you'll get them however you get them. And then they'll have like a whole ob -GYN thing and I just like printed that out and I just read that. And it was nice because it was kind of like a book in a way, but it was really thin and skinny um, and like it was high yield points, really well written. And so what I did was, you know, every night, you know, if you have downtime, you just kind of carry that with you and you can kind of skim it and read it. Um, but when you go home and like you're doing your cue bank and you're really focused and then you're going through the material, and you now have like a book to kind of write your own notes in that you're getting from UWorld or read more about the topic because um, UWorld's not going to be extremely long about it. They'll be to the point. So that was my technique. I used the Kaplan Step 2 PDFs or the books, just buy them for, you know, Step 2, um, just the OB-GYN section, and then I used UWorld and kind of combined them. I used a technique I just talked about on how to use UWorld. That's all I did. Um, and it went quite well. You know, I don't think you really need to do every resource in the world. Just do the resources you have well. I'm sure most resources, if we think about it, are just the same material put in different ways or kind of spread out. So it's not like one book's going to be missing all the important things and you're reading the wrong book. You just need to read the thing and do the question bank that works for you. And for me, I just really got latched onto that Kaplan uh, PDF of ob -GYN. And a lot of, I think I kind of got latched on to it because people told me about it and they're like, hey, I liked it and I checked it out and I was like, this is like an easy read, it was fun. Um, it's a good thing, I think, when you find a resource and you're kind of excited to go home and read about it or when you're reading, you know, you're not like, oh, this is so, you're kind of, you know, in a good pace and you're having a good time. Um, 
always a great sign, of course. So that's my resource I use. Other links in the description of what you could use. Um, and of course, you world, what else am I gonna use, guys? Um, hope this video helps to the point I didn't use a bunch of things, I didn't use flashcards. One thing I would mention that I just kinda wanna think is, on your um, mobile phone device, whether it's an Android or an app, get the pregnancy wheel. It's really the only thing you need, tool-wise. Um, you know, like the ultrasound, the measuring tape, all these things are already in the office, you don't need it, but having a pregnancy wheel, you will need to have at hand. Um, I didn't have a paper one, because, you know, I didn't want to carry it around, I, so I just used my phone, I just used the pregnancy wheel there. Um, you'll definitely need that for sure. It's just an easy way to have it on your phone because you have it with you all the time anyways. Hope this video helps, guys. We talked about the resource to use, the QBank, and an easy mobile um, app to use for the pregnancy wheel. If you have any questions down below in the comments, hit us up on Facebook page. You guys are doing a great job of talking to each other. Let me know if you have any questions, guys. Always happy to help, and as always, enjoy your studies.